recollection is when they bought us boys football boots and Harry put the boots on the lathe and cut a groove for the bindings and the skis, the little hickory ones with the wee tip on it and the cable bindings. And he made the poles as well? Yes. With baskets as big as this. Certainly much better than the old binded one. Oh this is an upgraded one, Jossie's. She, she, she might be three or four then. In the daytime, they'd send us off in the old bus, and the pies used to come up, and they would be heated up on the little motor. These two buses were old road service buses. Dad used to get the drivers in, in to give them a couple of whiskies before taking all the passengers down the road. <laughs> My mother made canvas mitts. Do you remember those, Pat? And they had elastic yeah. run. And I can remember one day going to the long drop and losing the whole lot, you know, the woolen mitt and the canvas one down the hole. I did that several times. <laughs> you <laughs> didn't <laughs> learn. <laughs> Queenstown was a dead place in the, in the winter. So they, they wanted to develop the skiing to bring people in in the off season and give them some reason to go there. He enjoyed being in the mountains. So he wanted other people to participate in it as well. He had this vivid imagination. But in the early days, he was driven by what he wanted to do. He was determined it was going to work. Harry asked Bill Hamilton, the inventor of the jet boat, to set up the rope tow. And we had these things like a belt with a nutcracker over it that he flicked over and dragged us up the hill. It was very intimidating, and the pulleys, well, I mean, it was for a little person, not to do this. In 1964, they had the opening of the chairlift, and that's when we flew to Queenstown and went up. It was pretty smart, wasn't it? This is a lovely photo of both Harry and Isla, but whoever took the photo sort of cut their heads off a bit. Our grandmother, Jessie Wigley, did the Mark Cook Lily, which was on the, all the buses and it, of course on the airline. So I felt very proud about that. He wrote Ski Plan Adventure first and then he wrote this one. It's a bit more serious and a lot more factual. Harry was a great photographer. I didn't miss a year skiing until 1964. Then I didn't miss another year until about four years ago. It's being in a mountain environment, it's being outdoors, you're having exercise. It's fun, it's quite challenging. You're out there all day, but when it stops, you can take your boots off and you can have a drink and relax, and the whole body's absolutely glowing. It's a wonderful sport. I'm surprised. It is 75 years, are you? Not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>